What's going on everybody? Culture Dog Sam Hatch back with some more collection videos. I've shown you my laser discs and most of my VHS tapes. I owe still some bootlegs and I realize I have some off-site tapes that I have to show you. So I figured let's uh, do some hopscotch and, and leap right over DVDs and get into Blu-rays. And because I do have more DVDs than I do have Blu-rays and I I am lacking a lot of quality imports and boutique titles. You know, I wish I had you know, the available scratch to pick up a lot of stuff from, you know, Aero Video and you know, boutique titles, Twilight Times and, and Criterions and all that stuff. But uh, sadly, I'm usually a $5 bargain bin kind of guy or used bin kind of guy for the moment out of necessity. But uh, things will pick up and uh, I'll get back into all that stuff. So in the meantime, I live vicariously through your collection. So you guys, it's it's on you. Start picking up more cool Blu-rays so I can watch them. Uh, but yeah, so let's... Uh, see what I have in my collection of TV shows on Blu-ray. We'll start with that and then uh, catch up and uh, we'll split these up into a, a ton of different parts probably. But this is part one. Hope you dig it. Let's see what TV shows I have. All right. For some reason, I don't have any A through F in my Blu-ray collection. So we'll start off with uh, Game of Thrones, complete first season. Uh, it's got uh, the uh, original printing there, which I think it was this season, had the, um, the, what was it, President's Bush head on a pike or something like that, and they, they removed it from, uh, later pressings, so I think that's the case, but this is the original one from back in the day, and I'm sure you can see the rest of these coming. Season two, of course. Um, the cool thing about some of these early ones, they were trying to figure out what they were doing with the digital copies and all that stuff, but uh, these came with uh, full DVD copies as well as the Blu-rays, and that was pretty cool because the DVDs alone cost just like $5 less than the Blu-ray set, so it was worth picking it up. And uh, this one, again, Season 3 has the DVD and the digital copy. There were a ton of different variants out there, and uh, different stores had you know, all sorts of different packaging and all that stuff, but I just went with the first ones I could find that were cheap. <laughs> and, of course... Season 4, and I have the uh, ultraviolet copies of these things on my cloud, too, so I can watch it at work, because obviously this is work-appropriate stuff. Just kidding. All right. This is actually a pretty fun show. Nothing to do with the original source story, but Haven, a uh, loose adaptation of the uh, Colorado Kid novel that... Um, Stephen King wrote, but it's not even a normal Stephen King novel. It's uh, like a like a pulp novel. It was part of a series they were doing with uh, modern writers taking on like the style of old pulp stuff. So uh, the TV show has pretty much nothing in common with it, except there's a mystery at the heart with a a guy who mysteriously showed up dead on a beach, and this one woman who helped him out and. Uh, She's an FBI agent who's hanging out in this small main town, very Twin peaks and meets X-Files. And that's kind of the vibe it's going for. Uh, fun show, really good, and a lot better than most of the Sci-Fi Channel stuff. No offense to Sci-Fi Channel. And uh, so, of course, got season two. And, of course... Season 3, which I think came with a um, comic book. I think it's this one. Unfortunately, it got a little uh, waterlogged. But gives you a little bit of in-between season information. And uh, Season 4, which came with this comic book. Gets a little 
into a lot of the mythology, actually, behind the show. Uh, the show's got a pretty intense mythology, and uh, pretty much the basic mystery they set forth in uh, Season 1 is you know, something else altogether by the time they roll into this season. And they keep expanding the cast and adding in wrestlers and all that stuff, because that's what sci-fi does. And Season 5, Volume 1, which is goofy, because... It's actually a full season's worth of episodes, so I have no idea why they're calling it Volume 1. But uh, And unfortunately, they decided to change the packaging, like uh, a lot of studios will do randomly. So that kind of sucks. But uh, I haven't watched this one yet. That's, uh, that's as far as I got with Season 4. Uh, this one uh, my wife picked up, the uh, Kennedy's TV miniseries with Greg Kinnear. And uh, I know it got... Relatively panned, but I'll have to check this sucker out. And I'm missing seasons one and two. I have them on DVD. Lost. Actually, uh, got this way back when it first came out. This is, uh, comes with a cool out outer cover. And then the uh, clamshell case on the inside. Lots of extras, as always, with these things. I still haven't watched them all yet, but... Good stuff. And I uh, just recently showed this in one of my newer videos, Season 4. I finally picked up for yeah, a couple bucks. Uh, it was worth grabbing. And Season 5, packaged completely different than the other two, but what are you going to do? Complain? Maybe you can complain. but And... Lost Season 6, which does have a uh, slipcase again, at least. Then, uh, if you like Lost, you're going to love Heavy Metal Cartoons. <laughs> Metal Aqualypse Season 3, The Dead Man. The only reason I don't have 1 and 2 is because they weren't released on Blu-ray, only on DVD. So, of course, I have the DVDs. Uh, great series on Adult Swim from Brendan Small, who was a uh, musician and decided after home movies to do a take on heavy metal musicians. Dr. Roxo. And uh, just tear into a lot of you know, stereotypes and just comedy overall. Great show. And season four, Church of the Black Clock. Good stuff. I believe this is when it went back to 15-minute um, episodes. Season 3, they started toying with half-hour episodes, which seems to work for things like um, Venture Brothers, but not as much for the whole uh, metal, metal Apocalypse Death Clock thing. Uh, these things look great in high def, too. Oops, if I can put it back in the slipcover. Ah, uh, this I had to have. One of my favorite shows of all time, The Prisoner. And it's the complete series. Just a one uh, beefy clamshell. And he put this out around the time their uh, heavily maligned uh, sequel miniseries came out with Ian McKellen. And uh, nobody cared about that. What was it, Jim Caviezel in that too? But yeah, everybody just wanted this sucker. And, oh yeah. Watch a miniseries event that nobody cares about. Yeah, The Prisoner with Patrick McGowan is amazing stuff. Uh, definitely still holds up. And just one dude sticking it to the man repeatedly. Sadly, I don't have any of the other seasons, but I do have season one of Sherlock, which is cool for uh, some of the extra features, including the original uh, pilot version of the uh, initial movie, so thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, it's interesting watching how it changed and how it didn't change. I need to get the other seasons on Blu-ray as well. This I've picked up cheap at, I think, the grocery store. A uh, <laughs> TV version of Titanic from uh, the creator of Downton Abbey, so... 
So yeah, Julian Fellows kind of takes on the social structures and uh, uh, tensions aboard the Titanic. So, pretty fun. Not really fun, per se, but... HBO series. Yep, got True Blood Season 1. I never actually saw it on HBO proper. I just picked this up on a blind buy. Figured it'd be pretty cool. And uh, like some of Alan Ball's stuff, so I figured I would check that out. So, needless to say, True Blood Season 2. <laughs> All of a sudden flashing back to uh, my uh, favorite comedian, Dan Cummins, is skit about how if you uh, hang out with somebody who's all about true blood you have to go true blood this and true blood that but true blood this and true blood that oh wait and true blood this uh season three a little bit of uh sticker damage there unfortunately but you know the thing that sucks about seasons two and three is they look identical to each other on the shelves because they're both like the same kind of color palette uh, season four. I do love the kind of uh, matted finish on these boxes. And this is another one of the ones that comes with a separate little slip case for the digital copies and the DVD version. So I thought that was pretty cool. I appreciate getting some bonus content. And uh, True Blood, Season 5. Still have not seen any of these later ones. Another one with a bonus DVD and digital copy. Digipack. And True Blood, Season 6. I still don't have Season 7. i got to get that. Lots of extras on these someday. I'll watch them all. Oh, uh, man. This thing has some problems with lip sync and all that, but I don't care. I had to have it. Twin Peaks, the entire mystery. I already had the original DVD set that came out, and then I bought the Korean DVD set for season one because that had the uh, original aired version of the pilot. And then I bought season two, and then immediately thereafter, the big box came out, and I couldn't really double dip at the time. I couldn't justify it. Uh, but when it came out on Blu-ray, I uh, definitely justified double dipping. Uh, gorgeous box. love the feel of it, too, the texture. Um, and I love the fact that it's got all the bits from Fire Walk With Me that was cut out. So, awesome stuff. Uh, I mentioned this before. Venture Brothers Season 3. I love how this is designed to look like an old Atari 2600 game. Um, one of my favorite shows of all time. Killer stuff. And looks fantastic in high definition. Let's see if I can get the... Uh... <laughs> looks like an old ad for the console system. This is the one that came with the uh, Jim Thurwell Music Volume 1 as a bonus, which of course is missing because I took it out and put it with my CDs. But love the show. Again, I have seasons 1 and 2, but they're not with these because those are on DVD. And the cool thing about season 4 is that they split it up on DVD, but nicely they put it all in one Blu-ray here, so it's not, you know, volume one and volume two, just all 16 episodes. Great stuff. And, ah, love the Hardy Boys cover of this one, the fifth season. Great stuff. Ah, love this show. Love how they keep expanding the the characters and the mythology and, and take it in the ways you wouldn't necessarily expect. And, uh, yeah, so many great quotable moments in it. One of the best shows on television right now. And, uh, yeah, this is the only Blu-ray I have of The Walking Dead. It's always so damn expensive, and I am so damn cheap. So I bought the first season, 
This was before they reissued it with the uh, black and white versions and all that stuff. And yeah, I'm just not going to double and triple and quadruple dip. So one of these days, I'll, I've got season two on DVD, but that's about it. And uh, yeah, just not looking to drop like $50 on one of these suckers for the rest of them. I'm a cheap, cheap bastard. So that's it for um, TV shows on Blu-ray. Let's get back into some uh, some films next. Word.